Oh, there you are, YouTube. I think I'm looking at another one take today. I think you're looking at another one take today is probably the better way to say that. But um, I'm pretty tired and I don't know. I just, I didn't film anything throughout the day. So just doing a end of the day vlog, sort of recapping. The kids were quite wild today. They were very difficult to handle. Just woke up in a bad mood, they did, and took a nap, a really good nap, and after that nap they were in a bad mood. So it's just kind of, they weren't wanting to eat, yet you could tell they were hungry because of that bad mood, I think, anyway. I don't know, it was just, I don't know, they, they weren't in the best mood today. Uh, but we finally got them down for bed, uh, which actually wasn't that difficult of a process. That usually isn't the hard thing. Um, it's just the in-between sleeping. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got them down, and then we watched the third episode of Mandalorian, which was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. And what was cool about it, there is a scene at the beginning where uh, Mandalorian, uh, I guess spoilers, I guess I should say, um, nothing, I'm not going to give away anything major, it's what I'm going to say is very generic, but still. Um, there's a scene where his ship is like coming in for sort of, you know, looking like going to be a crash landing onto a planet. And the way it's coming in is very similar to, um, it's almost like shot for shot. I shouldn't say shot for shot, but there are some shots that are echoing what her father did in Apollo 13, Ron Howard. Uh, when he made Apollo 13, some of the shots are very similar. And one of my favorites is with like all the toggles and switches and things like that. Um, in uh, Apollo 13, you see like beads of water like floating off of it uh, because it's like so hot. The ship is so hot as it's coming in, it's like melting all the ice and things like that. And condensation is just like floating everywhere. Um, that is uh, sort of recreated in Bryce Dallas Howard's opening scene for this episode, which is really cool. Uh, the way the, what do you call that, that, that thing, you know, that crash lands into the ocean with the astronauts in it? Something module, maybe? I don't know, but anything, the way, anyway, the way that thing, like, lights on fire was very similar. Um, it was just, it was pretty cool how she was able to recreate those shots for this science fiction show, uh, which are based off of uh, scenes, shots that her dad did from a his history biopic sort of film. So, I don't know, I thought that was really cool, especially because Apollo 13 is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, it's in my top five. Absolutely adore it. Um, but, yeah, I, I just thought that was cool. It was a really good episode. We saw some uh, species that we had seen before and other, you know, Star Wars things. Mon Calamari were in this episode. That was a lot of fun. Um, but there's also, I feel like, some key information in this episode to help us understand different types of Mandalorians. That they aren't all uh, one monolithic mind in which they do things. There are different sects of them that do and have different, I guess, rules. Uh, so that was good information to get and sort of make some things make a little bit more sense based off of what information we have from other Star Wars films and things like that, I think, anyway. At least though, it's, that's the way I'm reading it. But, um, I'm, you know, it, it, was a, it, was a, it was a good episode. I'm, I'm curious to see where it takes us. We learn about some objects that maybe we saw in season one. Um, we learn a little bit about where they came from. Maybe, unless we're being led astray, I think. Um, so I, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm saying nothing and too much at the exact same time. I feel like I'm spoiling things and being extra cryptic. It's a weird feeling going on in my mind. Am I saying too much or am I saying so little that I'm just 
putting out there confusing things. Anyway, I um, think it was, I think it was a good episode. I've, I, when it comes to, let's say, I know Mandalorian's not done. Like, probably going to be, you know, a few more seasons even. But let's say it is a movie. Everything that we have is a movie. I, if I'm looking at all the Star Wars movies, and let's say Mandalorian is a movie also, it is up there. I mean, it is such a good show. I love the way it's done. I love the practical flat effects. I love the blending with the CGI. It's just done so well, so visually wonderful. I love the characters. The bits of humor that we get are so well done. And uh, the creature designs are great. They're fantastic. I, I need to do a Star Wars ranking where I include Mandalorian in there because... Again, I mean, I like a lot of the Star Wars movies, so this would be very difficult, but I'm wondering if it's in the top five. I think so. I guess what my question is, is it number four? I think. Like, is it, is it, I think it might be in the fourth place. I don't know. I need to think about it. I need to list them. I need to, like, rewatch them all. That's going to take some time, but I am curious. I... I don't know. Again, I like a lot of Star Wars, you know. I there are only there's really only one Star Wars movie I don't like, and even that one I find good stuff in it. So, I don't know. I uh all I'm saying is I think Mandalorian is so good. If it were a movie, I would put it up high in my ranking as a favorite Star Wars movie. Um but I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this vlog and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.